Yeah. My father was an old school socialist. Like 80% of Tuscans at the time, after the war, they'd been in the resistance. I used to be surrounded by old men who hated power and had spilt over into football. At the bar, watching a Juventus match, you'd see them being awarded a penalty for a particularly nasty foul, but the comments were always the same, always about Juventus and how they were gifted penalties. My father died when I moved to Juventus, and I went to the cemetery and I said to my father, I've been offered the job at Juventus. There's no way I can turn it down. You're just going to have to get over it. The cigar on the pitch, the Paul Newman eyes, a coaching genius who was coolness personified. Marcello Lippi has fascinated, intrigued, and impressed. And at Juventus, he instilled invincibility. 13 major honours in eight years in Turin led him to the top of the world. But he earned his stripes as a masterful tactician and motivator in Naples. There in 1993, he took a team on the brink of financial collapse to European qualification. The players hadn't received their wages for six months. A leader of men, and that impressed the old lady. I only spent a year at Napoli, but something magical happened, something very few can understand. An incredible bond was formed during my time there. It felt as if I'd been there for a decade. People used to warn me against betraying the Napoli fans, but I never betrayed anyone. How could I turn down the chance to coach a team like Juventus? I didn't hear anything negative about it from the Napoli fans. Three months after I joined Juventus, we played at Napoli, and I was warmly received by the crowd. I even went to sit on the wrong bench. I'd gone to sit in the home dugout. I always had a fantastic relationship with the Napoli fans. At Juventus, Lippi never lost a game against Napoli. When the two sides meet on Sunday night at San Paolo, the 13-point gap will mark a huge difference to last season's chase for the championship, when the Azzurri almost, almost took the title from Turin. It's a classic. Napoli are more than capable of beating Juventus, regardless of the distance that separates them in the league. I expect both teams to play openly. The title chase is blown wide open! But Napoli squandered their greatest chance last season. You cannot beat Juve in Turin and then lose to Fiorentina the following week. Simeone finishes the match. Doesn't make any sense. When Lippi resigned from Juventus in 1999, he was replaced by a then 39-year-old Carlo Ancelotti. Two decades on, Ancelotti's in charge of Napoli, the quintessential modern manager. I've never heard any player who's been coached by Angelotti say anything that wasn't complimentary. The worst I've heard was that he was fantastic. I think he's the best coach around. He's proven himself again this season, but being the best doesn't make winning a certainty. It's a two-goal cushion for the champions. Zinedine Zidane, Antonio Conte, Didier Deschamps, Paolo Souza. Many of Lippi's former players at Juventus have followed him into management. Guided by greatness, Lippi chose a humbler path. That just goes to show how old I've become. I remember a headline in a paper I saw. The sons of Lippi. I had to explain to my wife that it wasn't what she thought. I didn't have other sons. They were my footballing sons. But the man who mirrors the master most closely is Massimiliano Allegri. They both come from Tuscany, one from Viareggio, the other from Livorno. They received the Juventus call at the same age, 46, and they share the same ability to read football games. I like Allegri. I see myself in him. 
le partite secondo me. Games start and then develop and things change. Finiscono un altro ancora. Quando vedo degli I get really angry when I see coaches fail to adapt their sides to the changes in the game. They just stand there and do nothing. Io divento matto, no? E lui vedo. But Allegri is really good at switching things around, moving players into other positions when they want to try to break a defense down. It's something I always did. He does it as well. Ecco, le analogie sono queste. Allegri is on his way to win a fifth Scudetto at Juventus. Just what Lippi did. Can Napoli delay his date with destiny? 